With God, there is always more. More love, more life, more freedom. Welcome to Zoe's Exploring More with Michael Thompson. C.S. Lewis once wrote, Our Heavenly Father has provided many delightful ends for us along our journey, but He takes great care to see that we do not mistake any of them for home. Join me and the team as we explore the kingdom together, discovering the deep truths and offering encouragement for the journey. There is always more. Welcome to the Exploring More podcast. The guys are still out on assignment, so we'll continue with the Training and Warfare series. This is part two. two, two, two. John 13, Jesus says, as I have loved you, as I have loved you, so love one another. Where do we race to in our church? What of those two phrases do we tend to jump to? The loving one another. No, there's a context to this. When Jesus said that to his friends, do you think they had an experience? Bruce, do you think they knew what that meant? This is John 13, not John 1. This is not the beginning. This is two years in. When he said, as I have loved you, so love one another. Do you think each one of them went, whoa, like that? They had had experiences and encounters with him that had changed them. So when he does the Great Commission, they know exactly what he's talking about. They go back to those campfires, those dinners, those times together, those roads, those walks when Jesus was loving them, showing them the secrets of the kingdom and how to live this way. In Luke 10, he sends out the 70, right? Not just the 12, he sends out 70 with his authority. What did Dallas Willard say? Mostly what God is up to is looking for good men in which to entrust his power and authority. So where does he get that from? Luke 10. This is what Jesus does. He gives the 70 his power and authority, and this is like the first game. They go out. How do they come back? They go out in twos, and they come back, and what do they report? Whoa, Jesus, this was incredible. We were doing what you've been doing. We were healing people. We were kicking demons' butts. We, whatever the Greek is for butts, right? And what does Jesus say? I know. It's going to work. This is going to work. I saw Satan fall, he says, like lightning. This is going to work. You're going to be my disciples. You're going to be my friends. And you're going to bring the kingdom. That's our lineage. That's our history. That's our family. That's what we're being invited to do. And we're going to need training. We're going to need to be trained up. It's okay if you don't know how. But after today, after this weekend, it's not going to be okay anymore. All right? This comeback is on. And on it will be healing and training. Luke 6.40, a student is not superior to his teacher, but everyone, after he has been completely trained, will be like his teacher. And that's what the old Zorro is going to do to the young Zorro. Come with me. Let me help you take revenge on your enemies with honor. My daughter, Abby, got really sick last night. It's hard of a wear. My wife was up with her till 2 a.m. wondering if they should go to the emergency room. Dirty rats. I'm not saying every sickness is of the enemy. We live in a fallen place and the body's not right and there's physical things that happen. But the timing's pretty interesting, isn't it? No distractions. Taking Robin out. Coming, Coming while we're gone. I bet you I'm not the only one. I bet you some others of you had some texts and phone calls. They are desperate right now to do whatever they can to pull you off course and out of training. And we have to take care of our wives and daughters and sons, no doubt. Remember, remember, what we are assuming, restoration is available and we are at war, right? So Jesus, come. 
Come and train your troops. Come and train your men. Come and teach your boys how to live this way. I'm still in, all in, Jesus. I need you. I need your help. I need you on my home front, and I need you here. And that's crazy that you can be at both places. You are awesome. Come, Jesus, come. Amen. Amen. Right? It's important to know what something's made for. Right? Ellie is made to hunt. I mean, it's not the same dog we brought home that we received. She is on it. I love when we take our walks, and her nose is on the ground, and she comes up on something and goes into her little... (laughs) Something's in there, or something was in there. You know, I remember the first time I was really excited about her doing that, and there was a snake. I'm like, she is, man. You know, (laughs) good job, Ellie, good job. Go. She's finding stuff, right? It's important to know what something's made for. I have put nails in the walls with so many things, but what is the best thing to put a nail in the wall? A hammer. Do you understand what you're made for? A nail gun. I got an interesting story about being shot by one of those. No. Anyway, we got a little aggressive when we were little and thought that would be a good idea, right? Boys aren't pretending, they're rehearsing. So, all right, what are we talking about? What you're made for. Do you understand what you're made for? In the joy of the Trinity... They set their image bearers on this earth made for intimacy, love, and connectedness with them. How do we know? Go to, not Genesis, go to John 17. What does Jesus pray at the end of his mission? I've done it. I've brought them back. They in you, you in me, us. Unity, the love of the Father, Son, and Spirit. That's what we're made for. You've got to know what you're made for so that you can become what you were born to be. Thanks for listening to part two. Tune in next week for part three of the Training and Warfare series. And now here's a quick word about an upcoming event. Coming this fall, join the squadrons of men who are hungry and thirsty for more of God. It's Heart of a Warrior Encounter West, October 21st to 24th, 2021, at Young Life's Trail West Lodge in Buena Vista, Colorado. This weekend conference is designed to take a man into his deep heart and facilitate intimate encounters with God. To register, go to zoe.org forward slash events. Join your allies and discover the life of more. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Exploring More. The landing page for this podcast is zoe.org forward slash podcast. That's Z-O-W-E-H dot org forward slash podcast, where you can find the show notes and various platforms to which we broadcast. You can also find us and the life of more by visiting Zoe on Uversion Bible app, Right Now Media, our Facebook page, and Zoe on Instagram and Twitter. Remember, with God there is always more, and you were made for more.